Hello, this is Misha. Welcome to my channel again. So, um, as I said in my last video, I was, I think I was three months in to my four month protective style challenge. And now I'm in the midst of taking it out. So I've taken out the majority of it and I'm just detangling it. I'm trying to finger detangle all the way, which is why it's a very long process, but I'm trying to keep my hair as healthy as possible. And I, I guess retain all the growth that I've kept. I might actually give myself a trim because some of my ends are a bit scraggly. But um, I thought I'd just share the process with you. So I'm undoing my cane rows and then I'm using my shea butter mix slash olive oil and coconut mix oh, coconut oil mix to um, kind of loosen all the buildup that has accumulated where you know where the cane rows join. So what I do is I get this I get this mix that's in just the squirt bottle. I put it directly onto where you know the build up of all the lint is. Let it sit there for a few seconds and I squeeze it. And then put this one on before, this is the shea butter mix. So it's a mixture of shea butter, coconut oil, yogurt oil, aloe vera juice, um, olive oil, vitamin E oil, and oil and tea tree oil. So I just put this onto the base of the braid and begin to kind of loosen it up, feel for any bits of loose tension and then kind of work through it like that. It's a very long and laborious process. Ten canos on my head. I'm on number nine. I started this at 10 p.m. last night and I called it a day at 3 a.m. this morning so five hours of detangling this hair and I had to go to bed because it was 3am so I'm back up this morning just doing the rest I think my scalp is feeling a bit bit tender because obviously I haven't it hasn't had any real kind of manipulation over the past four months but what I have learned is that I'm definitely not going to go for four months again in the same protective style because this process is just too long and I'm probably not reaping like I think I reaped loads of rewards when I did it, when I did it for three months so I think three months is probably the cutoff point before it just starts to get too unmanageable to take down and I feel like I might be losing more hair I think it's faster than gaining I haven't seen any breakage so far it's this bit here which is the initial plait when you start your camo where the most build-up seems to occur and the most the most tangling appears so let me just work through this like I'm not going to talk because I need to work through it Using the oil really helps to loosen up any dirt and the tangles or not just kind of melt away after some kind of manipulation Remember to be very gentle, take your time because it can be very tempting to just rip through your hair but then kind of defeats the object of why we did this in the first place which was to grow our hair. So if you're just ripping out new growth, like what's the point? So yeah, right, all the main, see look, this is all, this is from two canines, this. So if you can imagine this from eight more cameras on my head. I had a big bow in here. The main tangles are out. Now we're just going to work through my hair again, getting rid of all the tangles. So what I'm going to do is use this again, put it onto my scalp as well. And starting, start on the front. You want to take a small section, like this, a small section, and just work our way through it with our hands. And what I'm going to do, done with the rest of my hair, is I put it in mini twists. 
just to keep it detangled and stretched. But what I have also done is use Shea Moisture or Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner for dry and damaged hair, or Slip and just for conditioning before I shampoo the hair. So we section off a good size amount. So you can see it's all detangled. Ah, I'm really happy with this growth. It's good. I don't think my hair was this long. But yeah, look at that. It's like, what's the name? Well, collarbone. But it's still really thick. Um, obviously, I know I need to trim my ends because some of them are a bit scrappy. But anyway, we'll use the conditional to pre-condition, pre-poo. So yeah, we just drench it, slather it in conditioner. I'm kind of trying to get rid of this conditioner because this line is not the best for my hair. I have the matching shampoo and I used to have the matching mask. The mask, which was the raw shaper to mask, was like terrible for my hair. It made it so dry. So I'm kind of trying to just use it up and move on to the Holy Grail, which is the Jamaican Black Castle range. Like that range has saved my life and my hair. Like it makes it so soft, so strong, so manageable. So I recently found out, did, did anyone else know that there was a Jamaican black castor oil or just plain conditioner like in the pump bottle like this? I had no idea, I just thought there was the mask and the leave-in conditioner and the shampoo but lo and behold, they got it! So I think I might use that after or use it as a leave-in. Uh, I'm not sure but I want to use it because I know my hair is going to cry. So yes, I'm just going to twirl the ends there to keep it in. And I think, I always thought my hair was like strictly 4C, but some of my hair like actually has a curl pattern. So maybe it's a bit 4B. Still, hair typing isn't be all and end all, but well, I just thought I had the thickest, coarsest hair. I mean, I'm not going to lie, my hair is thick. It's not as, I don't know, we'll see. Let's just wait until we wash it because it could be a different story. It could be because I've got loads of oil and product in my hair. Making the curls clump together and actually look like there's a curl pattern. So yeah, I'm just raking through with the conditioner through my hair. Starting at the ends and working my way up to the roots. And just pulling out any shed hairs as I go. And these are relatively well, they're medium sized. Go in and twist it. Shedding, and then I put in the conditioner, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with the growing growth. You can feel all the new growth is, so I was like, last time, that's how much it's going. So last time it was down to there, and now it's down to there. So that's like a good inch and a half, maybe more. Um, but yeah, so all my hair is now in twists. But this side has grown. Hey. Uh, so this is all of my hair, all twisted up. Uh, another quick length check. So the back, two back bits. There. Side. Nearly the same. Front. Kind of the same as it was before. To be honest, it hasn't grown that much. One thing that I can tell you though is my edges here are broken a little bit but that's I think just the nature of wearing wigs that's where it rubs that's where it's most exposed what I'm going to do now though I've got this massaging brush which has got a laser in it which apparently stimulates hair growth I don't know how much that works but the vibration itself will stimulate blood flow to my scalp so I'm just going to do this for 5 minutes I 
I'm just going to give my hair one last go over with some avocado oil because that really penetrates my the hair follicle. So I'll just pour some out onto my hand. You know what I should have done? Well, this water actually has peppermint oil in it, so I'm going to... I've never actually put my hair in a puff before. Would you believe it? I'm excited to try it because I think I've got enough length for it to be a decent puff. Um, right, I'm going to go and wash this out using this shampoo and then probably some of the Cantu or the Jamaica Black Castor one. And then I'm going to use some apple cider vinegar rinse just to uh, cleanse my scalp fully, fully cleanse it, just give it new new, and then condition it. So, yeah. I'm just doing a quick update. I've just washed my hair. I've had it in. I've had the conditioning for about two hours. I put it on, put a cap on, and went out, did all my stuff, and then I used my. Um, steaming cap to just speed up the process and let the conditioner completely penetrate my hair. So now I've washed it all out with my hair completely clean and full of moisture. Here are the strands. Still quite stretched, which is good. So I won't have to tangle through much of it, but detangle much of it. And now I'm just gonna put in some olive oil juice um, and then some oil to seal it, and then redo these twists and let them dry overnight. And then I'm going to cane over it tomorrow, I think, if it's dry. Or well, I might use the steaming cap to kind of dry it partially. But yeah, that's my hair. Let me close up. But yes, um, I'll see you in the next part.